Hi guys, welcome! In this video, I will show you the first prints I made with the Tivo Tornado and my initial thoughts about this printer, before the final review. At the end of the video, I will have a special guest that will also share his thoughts on this machine, so don't miss it! Before you start, you must define the print area in your slicer. So, after homing, we need to check how far the axis can travel. That can be done by moving the X and Y axis all the way and stop just before hitting the mechanical limits. In my case, I found that value. The heat bed is 310 mm by 370 mm. When home, the nozzle is at 6 mm from the edge in X and 48 mm in Y. I get 304 mm in X and 281 mm in Y. For the Z, you can just measure. You have to measure from the extruder screws to the top plate. Give a little margin, as when homing it raises the Z and this way does not crash to the top. In my slicer, I define 300 in X, 275 in Y and 380 in Z. Now it's time to load the filament. The heat pad does not take long to reach the set temperature. That's because the heat pad itself is AC and controlled by a solid state relay, also known as a SSR. And because the heat pad is AC powered, you don't need a big powerful power supply. This one is a 24 volt 8.5 amp, which is more than enough. The main board is an MKS base version 1.4, the same as the tarantulas. As my first ever print, I decided to go with my double halo cube. And there she goes. I like to use this blue filament for test prints because it's easier to see the problems. Then I printed the TiVo spool holder. This one is provided by TiVo in G-code format. The print starts with the nozzle at 230 degrees, which I reduced to 220 as I thought it was a bit too high, and later it drops to 205 degrees. The heat bed starts with 80 and then drops to 55. I don't know exactly the print speed on this one as it is already sliced, but it looks pretty fast. The Titan extruder works like a champ.
So after a few prints, let's check them out. The cube shows very smooth walls. I see some small vertical lines. I was wondering about those as my bed is heavier because of the glass. Uh, but overall, looks okay I guess. I also made this cool tool. The parts came out nice and they move very good too. The spool holder looks great. Absolutely no horizontal lines, which means excellent Z movement. The sides are very smooth. Also printed this uh, ring holder for the wife. And this detailed necklace, which was printed at 60 millimeters a second. After painting it, it looks awesome. I also printed a more complex model at 60 millimeters a second. The result was very good. I can see some issues, but are related with slicer settings and supports. The TiVo Tornado is equipped with 17 HD4401 stepper motors all around, except for the Y axis, which is an 8401. I'm guessing this is a more powerful stepper motor to move the heavier Y-axis. For the Y-axis motor mount, I noticed that it flexes a bit. I would prefer to see a closed mount, like the Y-axis idler mount instead. The firmware has some cool features, like the move to front left, move to front right, rear right and rear left, to ease the leveling procedures. also has the baby stepping, which is very handy to adjust the first layer on the fly. The downside is that it has no option to save changes to the EPROM. And now guys, welcome my special guest and a very very close friend of mine. His name is Misha. Hi Misha. So, what do you think about the printer? Yes, the one behind you. Okay, I guess Misha will not make any comments until the official review. The only thing he can say is that he likes the colors of this new printer. Thanks Misha! And that's it. 
Don't miss my next video where I will be reviewing the Tornado 3D printer. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.